you want to learn how to make a low poly choice for your models. So, what did you gotta do that? Let's go. Yeah, okay, so here we are on the PC. So I have just this base mesh over here. Let's just start off with the pants, okay? So to make the pants, you would just select the base mesh for the body. And then my method for creating clothes is just, so you select, so I'll press C to go to the select tool, uh, select this whole thing with left click, and then shift D to duplicate. Okay, and then right click to leave in the same spot, P and pass selection, okay? So now you have this over here. So then we can start the length vertices and then double G to edge slide it down. Okay. So like that, we have the first half. Then we can go add a add a modifier and solidify. And then we can drag the thickness up like that. Okay. And then I guess it's kind of skinny jeans, but I mean, you could also just like smooth out some of the spots like this. Uh, if you don't want it to be as fitted so yeah okay so that will be the pants for now so then we can go select the whole body so we can go uh do the same thing with c uh i'm selecting this edge and then there select up to the neck select the whole arm and then shift d P, our selection and then we can actually duplicate this again so hide that one and then we have two so there so for the first one we can maybe make this white shirt over here so to make the shirt let's just delete this lower edge and then start making this like a loose fitting shirt i guess and then we can select this and extrude it out over the over top Okay. Put there. I was just think how gravity would pull it down. There. There. Drag this out. We can just make it like go underneath. There. We could just use uh, vertex snapping if you wanted. Uh, we'll just edge snapping. You snap to this edge over here. And then we can go add in the uh, solidify modifier again. So there, that just seems super puffy for some reason. I think this has to do with the posture of our base mesh. So, like the whole body is like backwards. Uh, but yeah, okay. So we have it like this. So let's go. I want to drag this back actually. There, okay. So let's go and press alt h to get that uh wait i'll just unhard it here so there so we have this mesh over here and this is going to be for our jacket <clears throat> okay so let's go we can go uh what's it alt s to shrink and fatten so we do like that uh just so we can get like a bigger thing to work with so we're going to start working on the jacket so here let's start doing this we can delete this front actually just add an edge loop control r and then delete this okay and then start working on the collar over here quick ad break uh just want to let you know you can go check my camera down below we can get a bunch of free models i guess they're for free yeah so interesting check it out add big rubber and then let's go to top view around this out this helps with the way we added the edge loop uh we probably just have to we'll also just hide the hair we can add it back in later and then uh fix it so that's above the clothing i think for the arms we can just drink it back down with alt s alt s there so let's drag this down because the shoulders seem very big uh it's down as well we go to top view drag this back that can't be dragged back this can there okay that looks okay i think i also want to just 
make this but then I okay so then let's add a solidifier to the jacket yeah that's fun and let's uh work on a collar so you click this button if you want to see the whole uh thingy of it like that um in edit mode and then let's select this collar extrude up and then extrude out the collar that works pretty well let's drag these two out let's do the same thing where it kind of like pulls out like that okay so let's add in a couple materials so this jacket will be like a blue the new uh denim let me kind of pick a color okay and then the chat the t-shirt this is just uh just off white slightly uh new shirt same color what we just drag the roughness down so they're both cotton and then the pants let's just make like a dark gray um there okay so let's just make these go further up and it's actually drag the thickness down let's harvest armature okay that looks good uh let's actually make a actual neckline for the shirt so drag this down a bit okay let's actually just drag the line of this jacket down a bit make it longer than the shirt okay so we're gonna make a cuff if we want so i'm just gonna screw this up scale it up and then screw it again down and scale it back in okay and then we're gonna start like dragging these in you know i'm just gonna make it like a scaled in thing uh drag these down okay and then we can just go make a new material uh, then um, two and then select this white to color okay that's fun and then we can all uh get our hair back uh and i'll fix the hair okay so here we have our hair back and there you go so let's just add some wait, just add in some shoes so it's just like some secret socks just simple slip on shoes or something or yeah so let's just drag this down uh right there okay that does not work uh so let's just do one at a time okay let's add a solidify modifier so let's just make it new and there you go there's some shoes and there is your character so yeah hope you enjoyed you guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this video stay tuned